and pick up this fix. Oh no, not the green one. Drop the green one. Pick up the fix one. And we'll take it back to our workbench, which we will need to refit again. Because this one is the broken SSD that we're replacing for G. Obin. We got rid of his virus. Now he's got a knackered SSD. So left click to place. Oh, it's the wrong bench type for the current job. Change bench, press B. I said I was going to change the bench type and then didn't change the bench type. B. Oh, I pressed on case modded again. I want built mode. Thought then. Didn't think I was going crazy. So we've got a fix on there. So we're going to need to remove the side panel first, I'd say. You're missing the following parts. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up your parts. That's the second day in the row we've forgotten that. So hopefully we've got it here. Yep, she and Mega 120 gigabytes across three boxes again, of course. And go over to the bench. We are not missing the part. That is a nice feature of PC Building Simulator 2. That reminds you if you've not picked up the part. Install a new operating system. The customer needs you to replace a broken SSD, and this will also require the installation of a new operating system. Let's get started. So we're going to remove the side panel. We need to unscrew it, remember. So, these are the screws, but not coming out at the moment. Rotate the PC and remove the rear side panel. Oh. Oh, we're going in from this side then. So, it's these screws we need to do. That's why the other ones weren't unscrewing. PC Building Simulator 2 is a little bit helpful like that. It stops you doing the wrong thing. Which is pretty good. So we're accessing the SSD from this side. Remove the broken one. This is quite difficult to see. Open panel. Yes. How do we open the panel? Open what panel? This panel? This panel? I have no idea what it would like us to click on here. And we can't rotate it any further. Which is a bit annoying. Can we get a better view this way? Aha! Rotate the other way and we get a better view. So unplug the SSD. Two cables, it should be. Unplugged. We can remove the SSD now. Which is broken. Install. Storage. The non-broken new SSD. We're going to plonk that back in the same place. Then we're going to go to cable to connect the SSD to the motherboard and... to the power supply which should be somewhere around here that's clearly the power supply where does it want plugging in we should have paid more attention shouldn't we where are these wires going oh they're going over here do we need to spin it round again can't even really see the PSU wherever it's gone got to be totally somewhere oh we're back on install should we be not on cables cables where are we putting the cable 
Oh. Install. Let's start again. Oh, it's not happy with us here. It is not happy. It's highlighting that, but we're clicking on it and it's doing absolutely nothing. Do you know what? This might be a little bug, but I don't think it'll let us exit. But this, I would imagine up here is the PSU and that looks like it's, oh wait, no, 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 that's plugging into a drive of some description, I think. Where are these power cables going? Over here. The actual mechanics of things and getting around the PC aren't actually as simple as they ought to be, I have to say. Kind of want to take off the panel on the other side, but I'm not so sure it will let me. Because it wants me to specifically follow this way of doing things. Well, this is frustrating. Oh, mind you, all the power cables are going down there. Is it down there? Zoom out. These buttons are in exactly the wrong place. Connect the motherboard. Connect the cables from the motherboard to the storage device. The motherboard's over here. You could do with some more kind of highlighting tips, I could say. Definitely. Because we're like looking at the wrong side of the motherboard. So it's like, guess where it goes in. Why can't we? Why can't we remove more of the case? That would be helpful. It's here, but is it gonna let us click in from the wrong side? So I'm just having to totally guess. Oh, is it these? No. How do I see the other side of the motherboard? This is really frustrating. We can't get around to the back unless we spin all the way around here. I mean, there's the motherboard quite clearly. You know, I would imagine it's over this side. So if we look, <sighs> wow, this is honestly pretty frustrating. 
How can we get it through there? Do 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 just going on a training course to work out how to do this. Someone must have had to do this by now. And why is there no green highlight? That is what is really frustrating me at the moment. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 Oh, PC Building Simulator 2. What you really need is the green highlight showing what you want us to do with this stuff. It should be at least easily visible from here if you want us to do something. Should be. Why don't you have an extension cable flapping around from here? all the power going this way but there's no other disk drives to even follow the wires back wow so this is insanely frustrating particularly we can't get any other side or back or anything a bit off because so even if we click on remove it's like you're not removing you need to cable And it won't even let us escape this little mode. Or actually do an awful lot now. So, Lord knows. Lord knows what it wants us to do. Because there's absolutely nothing we can see that we can click on. If you know what to do here, let us know in the comments so we can continue. Because... Having had a quick look, it absolutely looks like nobody else has found the solution to this problem either. So, uh, hit us up in, up in the comments so we can get past this bit. We can't even exit at the moment. Can't even exit from it. So, um, yeah. Well, at least we've painted the case successfully. I don't even think we collected the money for that one yet. So, PC Building Simulator 2, I have to say, overall, it's got a lot of promise. But some things, the green highlight we used to have, a bit of a hint, some way to exit this, even if it's supposed to be a tutorial, would be literally great. So we're going to leave this one here while we try frustratingly to fix it. And uh, hopefully some of you very smart people will be in the comments soon <laughs> to let us know where we're going wrong on this. Where is the green highlighting? Right, okay then, so. Don't forget to hit like on the video. Uh, certainly don't forget to comment if you know how we can fix this. And don't forget to subscribe for more PC Building Simulator videos. See you later.